Okay, so let's have a look at Fanbook. Now, Fanbook is primarily designed as a family website for family members um, where they can share posts and you can uh, post details of what your family is up to. Um, so let's have a look at a, uh, some of the things that you can do. Um, if we log in as a family member, Okay, so you can send messages to family members or to all family members at the same time um, and they can view the members when they log in, uh, messages when they log in. Um, so there's that facility. Um, on the family homepage, um, if we have a look at the, you can add family stories um, uh, and things like that or anything any content you wish obviously on the family home page um, you can have a family news page um, that details the family's news um, you could have a family offers page where you've negotiated special offers for family members um, and you could have a family photos page where you can add photos that have been posted by um, or that have been submitted by family members um, you could uh, you also have a family post stream now that's very similar to a Facebook post stream so your family members can post a uh, some details um, of a post um, they can add up to three photos to go with it and other family members can like the post um, or can comment on the post. For example, here we have some comments. Um, so to make a comment, you would just type in your your comment here. Um, you can add a smiley. Um, and so on and then you can add your comment and then the comment is added to the list of comments for that particular post as you can see there's our post and who posted it and what date and time now the person that posted the post or the comment can delete the comment if they wish and admin can also delete any um, post that has been made any comment that's been made if there's something that's inappropriate um, also on the actual post itself the original poster can edit the post or delete the post uh, at any time and admin can also edit or delete any family member post in case something is inappropriate if it was posted by somebody else then they don't get the option to edit or delete it um, so there's your family your stream and if there's more than um, a certain number of posts five posts per page uh, you'll get the next page details come up along the bottom um, so that's the post stream now if we wanted to add a new post it's quite simple they just go to add new post enter a title And then they can enter the text in here. So they enter the post. Then they can add up to three uh, photos. So they can select a photo, um, let's select that one, um, and the photo is optimized as it's uploaded. So if they upload a photo that's 4 megabits, you don't want 4 megabits of files kicking around on your server, so it will automatically be optimized and it will end up about 40-50k. 
the post is uploaded and it then appears below. And you can add a second post, a second photo. and a third photo if required. And then once the, uh, you've completed all the information, your post, your post details, etc., you can then add the post. And if the post details are too short, they will be asked to add some more text. And then once the post is long enough, the post will be added. And they'll be returned to see their post live. So this is the post we just added. Um, and the three photos have been added as well. Um, and then other users and you, yourself, that automatically gets one like as soon as it's posted. Um, but you can then um, like the post. And then it's now been changed to two. Um, to edit the post you just simply click edit post and then you can just alter what's there. You can even change the photo if you wish. And then once you're happy with it you update the post. And then the new photos and new text etc is there. So that's the fan, fan book post type. Um, page um, which is very as I say is just a very 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 cut down version of a, a Facebook type post and it's only for family members so it doesn't need to be too sophisticated um, so that's your your features I say you can add as many members pages as you wish just normally in Mobilize um, so you could add your family tree and all this sort of thing if you wish um, so now let's uh, uh, oh, and the, in the account section, you will be able to change your password. Um, you can change your details, your email address, um, website details, etc. And as soon as you enter the new details, um, you can't change the name, obviously, but if you change your email address, for example, then as soon as you've changed it, it automatically updates it. So let's uh, log in as admin. And you can see what admin can do. You've also got forgot password. So on admin, the admin manager can add members, edit members, change the system settings and send messages to members. So in the system settings you can switch off self-registrations so that registrations have to be done or new users have to be added by admin which is probably what you would want to do in a family site you wouldn't want just anybody registering. Um, the email address to send your emails from, um, the email header um, you can change that uh, the header that appears in the email. You can change the language of the editor and the default spell checker. And you can reject throwaway email addresses if you wish. So if they try to use an, a throwaway email address, uh, that will be refused. And that's, that, that has a list of hundreds of um, providers of throwaway email addresses and will reject any that come from that provider. Um, they can edit the user as well. So, uh, for example, you could edit the email address and that tells you when it's been updated, their website, their Facebook, and so on, their country, um, and whether they're active. So, you can just ban them, suspend them, make them inactive if you wish. Okay, um, and you can add a new member at the top here. So if we added, say, a new member, um, let's just add one just for movement's sake. Uh, we won't bother with that. The country, we'll say, is United Kingdom. 
Um, we can send an email mem to the member after they've been added, so that gives them their password and details, and their user ID. Um, and a temporary password. And we create the member. And the member has been created and an email has been sent to the member. Um, so they will now get an email to say that their account has been created and it will give them a temporary password which they should change when they first log in and hopefully the email will be coming up there we go so there's the email and you'll see the uh, their user ID Perl01 your user ID is Perl01 and your temporary password um, and then also gives them a link to go back to log into the site if you had got um, registration switched on, then when a user registers um, themselves, they will get sent a link to validate their email address. Um, and without that, the account will not be made active. Okay, then to send messages to members, it's very simple. You just enter uh, the message to send. Okay, and the user you want to send it to, or if you want to send it to all members as an announcement, then you can send it to all members. But in this case, we're going to send one to our new member. Okay, we've sent a message to her. Now, when she logs in, She would get a note to say there's a new message for her. Um, this one was for all amount, it's an announcement for all members. And this is the private one we sent to her. Um, Hello Pearl, welcome to our site. When she's seen that, she would click I have seen this. Um, and that message will no longer be shown to her in future when she logs in. And that gives you the option of then deleting that as the admin. Okay, to change the password, they just go to the change password and they enter their current password. A new password and then repeat it. There we go. And the password's been changed. Okay, so if we now log out, so now if we go to the member registration, remember we've switched off the member's registration so um, nobody can self-register. They have to contact you in order for you to add them as a member so that you can control the family membership. Obviously the system can be adapted and used for other than the family. Um, but you just need to bear in mind that obviously members will be able to post details on the stream so you just need to be careful on who you give access um, let's just go back down to admin and we'll just show you okay let's go into admin to the post stream. Now as we're logged in as an administrator you will see that we the option of editing or deleting every post and we also get the option of editing or delete or sorry not editing but deleting any comment so that if somebody's posted an inappropriate comment admin can go in and delete it and they can also edit any post by any user if there's something inappropriate there. 
and you can see the number of comments show and the number of likes show. So if we went to like the new post here, our like has now been recorded and that will now change to a three. There we go. If we try to like something we've already liked, then we will get a message to say we've already liked it. So that's it. That's the fan, fan book members system. Hope you like it and it will be available very soon. I've just got a few little bits to finish off and to create the installation and user guide. Okay. Good dream.